Hey folks, this is your fourth and final video on the introduction to polynomials. This video is all about end behaviors. So what exactly is end behavior? End behavior is what's happening on the graph way out on the ends, way out on the left end at negative infinity, or way out on the right end at positive infinity. Now you'll notice that there's two things that's going to affect the end behavior of my function. First of all, the degree being even or the degree being odd, secondly, are the two things that will affect my end behavior. Think back with me to quadratics from chapter 3 and how you knew that a parabola was going to be concave up or a parabola would be concave down. Well, you knew that because of the negative out front, the negative leading coefficient. And so it's the same thing if I have a degree that is even, maybe a degree of 2 or 4 or 6. If the leading coefficient is positive, both ends will be up. If the leading coefficient is negative, both ends will be down. If I have an odd degree, notice that the ends, one up, one will be up and one will be down. Now the first example that I have drawn is overall an uphill example. You're starting way down at the bottom and you're ending way up at the top. This is going to be caused by a leading coefficient that's positive. It's overall uphill. The second example, though, is an overall downhill example. I'm starting at the top and I'm working my way to the bottom as I read from left to right. This is going to be caused by a leading coefficient that's negative. So your embedded question for this particular video is going to be the following. If you have a degree of 172 and the leading coefficient is negative, draw me a picture of the end behavior. The second part of the embedded question, if you have a degree of 43 and the leading coefficient is positive, draw me a picture of what the end behavior would look like. 